Hello and welcome to another tutorial. Uh, this is the second one today. The first one I did today was how to uh, make section markers in Adobe Premiere and by doing that I remembered another tutorial that I should do which is editing to the beat or editing to the music. So let's get straight into it without wasting any time. I've got some random clips in here from a mountain bike uh, event that I went to. First what we want to do, let's just say we drag our song onto our timeline, there it is. I always like to zoom in a bit. Now, this is pretty easy to do. All you need to do is play the song. Make sure no clips are selected like that. So make sure you click up here, get the uh, tail head, play head, sorry, wherever you want it. Then what you're gonna do, if you notice if you press anywhere and press M, it's gonna create a marker. So they stay there like that, right? But to delete them, we just right click. Uh, where is it? Uh, clear selected marker or clear all markers. I'm gonna clear all markers for now. And what we're going to do is we're going to play the song and as we want to, whatever beat we want, we're going to press M every time that beat happens. So on this song, I'm going to show you first where I'm going to just by, so watch my hands. When I clap my hands is when I want to set a marker. So it's pretty slow. Um, some of them are faster and they're a lot harder to do. You got to, but anyway, what we're going to do, every time it hits that beat, we're going to press the M button on our keyboard, making sure again that no clips are selected. You don't need any video in there at this point. Um, yeah, so let's get started. We're going to press play and we're going to start setting our markers. Alright, so that's probably enough for now just to give you a rough demo. Go back to the start, we'll zoom in a little bit. So now you can see, you can do this by eye, you don't have to hit the M button, you can just roughly find where it is and then use your keyboard to find out where the beat starts, but this works very well. If you have a laggy computer, sometimes the markers can be set a bit early or late, so just give it a try and see how you go. Um, now there's a few ways of doing this. So what you can do, select all of your clips and click automate to sequence. And selection order just means I selected them from the top to the bottom. Placement sequentially. Let's just go to unnumbered markers. Overwrite edit. And that's it. We're going to ignore the audio because I don't want the audio from the video coming in. And what you can see there is it's automatically set our clips to where our markers are so sometimes it's not possible because obviously that clip isn't law oh, that was that was weird so let's see how that looks there's obviously not going to be let's just put one at the start so i don't know what these clips are of they might be just blurry mess but let's have a look how well it meshes with the music pretty good that came out really good actually and that's all there is to it you can do it manually so I don't ever really do that thing that I just did down here with the automate sequence I usually just drag the clip in because I want to play around with it so I usually just sorry we don't want the audio another little quick tip if you don't want to if you drag a clip on you can see it comes with uh, audio and video what we can do is double click on the clip and just drag this here this will only drag the video on that's all I need for this and let's just find a part of the clip we like so when there's something happening perfect drag there and we'll end it where the marker ends right there so that makes a pretty good clip let's find another one oops again double click drag only the video let's find uh, that's not bad we'll go a bit later in the clip let's go to there push that over pull this back to the marker and let's just grab one more for fun. Grab this one. That's pretty cool right there. So now this should be edited nicely to the music. Let's check it out. Perfect. And that is really all there is to it. It's very easy. 
some songs can be harder because the beats are closer together you might need to really tap that marker button um, or you can do it manually sometimes I do it manually because if you're trying to set heaps of markers and you're playing like a 4k video uh, sometimes it can lag a little bit so the markers might drop in a bit too late so in that case sometimes I do it manually I just find where the beat is set a marker etc so that's all there is hope it helped you please subscribe please like please comment on this video if you have any questions whatsoever thanks for watching hope you enjoyed hope it helped you I'll see you soon thank you